Hey guys, here's a little extra for you. So if you watched my video on how to rekindle love with an ex-girlfriend and to win her back, then you know why she left, the top three reasons she usually leaves if it is your fault, how to get her back and make her miss you, how to shift the power balance so she feels like she's the lucky one, and when to break no contact. But there are times when a breakup is actually good for you, even if you don't want it to happen, even if you feel your heart is broken and smashed upon the rocks below. Right. So let's look at the two times you're best off not to get back together, no matter how much it hurts. One, your values, beliefs, or long-term goals do not align. No matter how much you miss her or think you love her or are attracted to her or feel like you'll never find anyone else like her, if your values, beliefs, and long-term goals do not align, she's actually doing you a favor by leaving. Example, she wants six kids and you don't want any, or she wants them right now and you don't want them for 15 years, or the other way around. You want to start a family stat. She doesn't want kids at all. She wants to just scooch on with her career. If these things are deal breakers for you, you're not going to surpass them with hope and fantasy. Or you want a committed relationship and she wants to play the field while traveling the world, or vice versa. Or... She wants to get married and combine assets. And you definitely don't want to go through that again, especially if you've been through a nasty divorce. Or your political or religious beliefs are so far apart and so important to you that you're just going to end up resenting each other and treating each other with contempt. If there are deal breakers in your relationship, you may be able to lean on love and attraction for a while, but you're going to have a very bumpy ride and there's a very high chance that eventually you're going to split up and it'll be far more painful later. The second time you should not get back together with her is if she's toxic or a narcissist. Now, key point, not all women are narcissists. But yes, there are a lot of emotionally damaged women out there who actually display the behaviors of a narcissist. Either way, it's a major red flag. We are all a little broken, but you cannot fix her. If you go for damsels in distress, your life is going to be a living hell. Just look at some of the comments under this video. If she treats you horribly, no matter what you do, you need to actually take some time and figure out why you went for someone who would treat you so poorly or why you would stay with someone who would treat you so poorly. Now I can acknowledge that a lot of men who actually haven't experienced a relationship with a true narcissist or someone who's really emotionally damaged don't understand how intoxicating they can be. They're intoxicating because they're highly manipulative. They know exactly how to chip away at your self-esteem so you don't believe you deserve anything better. They can turn things around to make you think that it's actually your fault when it really isn't. If she does you the favor of breaking up with you, take the time to work on why you would go for someone or stay with someone like that. And you'll probably also want to watch my videos on narcissists and emotionally damaged women because not all the signs are super obvious. So I hope this helps. Thanks for being here. God bless.